many say that we are at the beginning of the end of pandemic. Do you agree or do you see more infection waves to come? Again, it's a very, very important question because the number of waves which are going to come will again depend upon, you know, exactly how much vaccination everyone has got. That means not only India, within India, across India, across the world. That's what I've been throughout talking about equity and equality, right? We are across the world in different stages of pandemic. If we were to see, I was telling you about India, that we had approximately, uh, you know, in these last two weeks, we have gone almost nine times in terms of numbers, right? USA is accounting for highest number of cases. Then we have got huge number of cases from France, UK, Italy, Argentina, and also yeah, Spain, Brazil, Turkey. All of these are accounting for large chunk of cases. And then we have to compare, you know, exactly that over a period of time, let's say how many cases came this week, then how many cases came in the previous week. But still we have to, we are seeing that large number of cases are coming from these countries. So till you know we see an overall decline across, that is one thing which is going to decide about the fate of the pandemic. The cases will decline also over a period of time and huge chunk of population gets infected and also how much is our vaccination coverage. But there will again be few countries which will still be remaining, you know. So we have to take care that we do not hold the vaccines and we supply to all the countries so that you know the principle of equity and equality is going to drive this pandemic out supplemented by covid appropriate behaviors and also by testing treating and tracking and we should be very very kind of not only methodical but we should be honest to ourselves in terms of transparency of data also so can we say that pandemic is far from over, but equity and equality can be a ray of hope? Uh, I will say, Anshika, it's not that pandemic may end very soon, kind of. You see, it's not that way. Because as you see that, if we see within the country also, uh, Delhi is now on, almost speaking in terms of number of cases, the seropositivity is declining, Mumbai is also there, but our different states are like different countries you know which are in different stages of pandemic we still see northeast states where we are seeing huge number of cases if you see assam mizoram nagaland large number of cases meghalaya then west bengal again you know only there was a slight difference between yesterday and today in terms of but we have to monitor the trends so each state is different it's like a country which we have to watch but then again overall you see we'll see that there is a slight, you know, it's not that much percentage of increase. So I said that overall the cases increase, but if I'll see between yesterday and today, it's only 1% increase in overall number of cases. But then these cases, we do have very good recovery rates also with this infection. But we also have to keep this mind across. That means similarly, we have to watch this situation across the world. And also we have to watch the situation in terms of vaccination coverage as well and how the pandemic is behaving. So we, our systems have to be watched, our vaccination has to be watched, our COVID appropriate behavior, all these they contribute to this. But most important part I will say is that across the world, one single message is follow COVID appropriate behaviors, do not lose your guard. Like you see, UK said that there's no need to, you know, follow COVID appropriate behavior try vaccinations or do take vaccination if you want to no there are some protocols which need to be implemented and that's how you know we will be getting over this pandemic together we have to fight this race